Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have a quick little app review for code to go for the iPad. So let's get right into this. When you open it up, you can see here that you've got the program or whatever you were working on when you last closed it. So uh, I didn't really have anything. I just got rid of all the stuff that I was doing on here, but I have used it and it's pretty fun to use. So I'm just going to give you a little demonstration here. Uh, up here, top left, you've got a little tab that says languages. You can choose through any of these programming languages. There's tons of them. So let's just go into Java because I know some of that. And then what you can do is um, just hit Hello World and it will fill in everything that it needs uh, to run a Hello World program. Then you click Run and I believe it contacts a server um, and will print out exactly what you have and returns all the data. And so that's what it was. Program output is Hello World. Now up here I can just email it right easy like that. Can save it, can load, can get new. Uh, and then up here you got settings, and well, this is really neat. You got extra keys, so these are the extra keys that it comes with uh, preloaded. And there's credits uh, if you want to check that out. But so if I just click done, these are those extra keys. So as you can see, there's a semicolon here. If we go into settings, get rid of the semicolon, and let's just say I wanted a question mark for whatever reason. Whoops, my bad. Question mark. Now just click done. And as you can see, it actually got rid of the equal sign because I got rid of it. But now I've got a blank one and a question mark here. So you can customize that however you want. And um, I'm going to make it how it was. Which I always have trouble finding that semicolon. Hmm. There we go. Done. And it's back to normal. So you can customize that however you use the app and put your you know most used keys up there so you don't have to go through this like I did. And yeah waste time. So that's pretty much it. If you like to program on your uh, mobile devices or whatever, then definitely check this one out. It's pretty nice. Uh, it'd probably be best if you had 3G so you could code anywhere and then test it by sending it to the server because I do believe you have to have an active internet connection for that. So that's one downfall, but you know, it's really unavoidable. That's how it has to be. So definitely check this one out. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. There'll be a link down in the description if you want to go check this app out in the iTunes App Store, and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Peace.